Let us first start with one of the most tedious tasks in agriculture harvesting. The multifunctional grape harvester 6120 from Oxbow is a machine made to help harvest grapes in an efficient yet gentle way. The manufacturers designed this machine to be a four-wheel drive harvester so it has a better way to deal with steep and challenging vineyard terrains. Farmers are delighted with this machine because it is capable of maintaining the fruit integrity throughout the harvesting process through its Advanced Vintage Technology, or AVT, that separates unwanted objects from the harvest. Next up, this is another machine from Oxbow, but this is specifically made for sorting and cleaning during the harvest season. This machine goes through rows of these fruits, usually grapes, to harvest them. Similar to the previous machine, this one has a system that separates the leaves, stems, and even the other debris from the actual fruit. Thanks to this machine, the farmers will no longer have a hard time sorting the harvest. Apart from that, this machine also increases the field's overall productivity because it can work day in and day out. This speedy machine is known as the TM120, and it is a trailed mower designed to help operators reach high productivity hay mowing over large areas. With a working width of 5.4 meters, this machine can surely cover a significant amount of ground in a single go. However, this width does not become an issue in the future because it can fold up for transport with a width of only 2.7 meters. This allows for easy maneuvering on roads TerraTech also offers a harvesting machine specifically made for your leafy greens. This machine is specifically designed to a manageable size that can fit perfectly even in small and medium scale farms. This can harvest a wide range of leafy greens like lettuce, baby leaf, spinach, purslane, and even some aromatic plants. The operator can adjust the height of the machine's cutter bar and pick up reel to match the plant's size. Even small-scale farms can benefit from the advancement of Agritech, and one great example is the Cultitrack 35 horsepower 4x4 tool carrier. This is a relatively small machine that performs like a beast in weed control, especially in carrot fields. This machine has rotating tines that are built to uproot and disturb small weeds, growing close to the carrot plants without causing any damage to the crops. The next clip you will see is a combination of two agricultural machines. These are the Cosmico Volatrice B20 and the Pascia Matrice STP3, which are two machines built for seedbed creation and laying mulch pass in just one operation. First of all, the Volatrice B20 forms the beds in the soil. Then the machine following it, or the Pascia Matrice STP3, lays down the biodegradable film over the seedbeds. This mechanism allows farmers to experience the simultaneous operation of seedbed preparation and mulching. They don't only make things easier in the field, but also lead to more savings. Agriculture is considered to be a tough industry because the working conditions are very challenging, especially when it comes to working with soil. Thanks to equipment like the Yanmar Power Tiller GT1, tilling the soil becomes more bearable for the farmers. Although one can still consider this manual labor, this mechanical soil tiller at least lessens the difficulty of dealing with thick soil, especially when it is exposed to water. The farmer just needs to push this equipment and every part of the field it goes through will be tilled excellently. In relation to the previous tool, TerraTech has also come up with a mulching unit that only needs the strength of the farmers to work. Yes, this machine can help in mulching tasks without the need for any tractors.
The TerraTec manual mulch layer can apply woven or plastic mulch film to soil beds that are 90 to 160 centimeter wide. They are usually used for greenhouses, high tunnels, or small field spaces because it has a compact design. As a result, it only needs two people to pull it along at a steady pace. A key to having a great harvest lies in the fertilizers farmers use. However, fertilizers like manure, compost, or other organic materials can be very heavy and difficult to transport. Good thing the field of agriculture now has the Teagle Titan Muck Spreader, a machine that helps spread fertilizers on farm fields. The manufacturers of this machine made sure to include a spacious storage so that it can handle loads of material and spread them in greater distances even with just a single pass. On top of that, it is also complete with large diameter beams with high tip speed that ensure thorough shredding of the material for even distribution and faster decomposition. Meet Bacchus, a 100% electric and autonomous vineyard straddle robot designed by Vitibot. This agricultural robot is programmed to go over vineyard rows to get rid of weeds and maintain the vines. It provides precise weed control, minimized herbicide use, and sustainable viticulture, but it does not cause any damage to the vines at all. If you are wondering how it can work without any operator on board, this robot is equipped with advanced sensors and GPS technology that work hand in hand with its programmed routes. For added functionality, Bakus can be equipped with various tools for different vineyard tasks. Even with such productivity, this robot remains to be eco-friendly because it completely relies on electric power for operation, reducing emissions and noise pollution in vineyards. Similar to the machine mentioned a while ago, the Vervayet Hydro Trike is best for carrying and processing materials like manure in agricultural fields. This machine can carry around 14 cubic meters to over 30 cubic meters of material. Even with its size and the weight of its load, this machine can seamlessly work in agricultural fields because it is powered by a 510 horsepower engine and equipped with three wheels that provide good stability and maneuverability. Did you know that manure can also be spread on fields in a different way? Take the Eurojet 3500 as an example. This is a machine specifically designed to inject liquid manure or slurry directly onto the soil with its working width that ranges from 6.3 meters to 8.75 meters, this machine can surely cover wide areas in one pass. Another example is the Ploger AT4103, or the self-propelled three-wheel drive slurry applicator made exactly to provide efficient and precise manure and slurry injection in fields. Let's backtrack a little to its three-wheel design. This unique concept is to be thanked for because it provides excellent stability, maneuverability, and weight distribution to the machine, even in challenging fields. Unlike the previous machines, this one has the capacity to handle both dry manure and liquid slurry. Regardless of what is picked, its 8-inch suction arm can easily load it even when it is 160 degrees away from the source. Moving on to another type of machine, the Apollo Generation 2 is not what you think a chicken harvester would be. No, it does not skin the chicken, but it does make the process of loading them into transport cages easier. It is programmed to pick up chickens from the poultry house in a speedy yet gentle way so they can be deposited in transport cages. Now, chicken handling no longer needs any manual labor which reduces chicken stress and injuries. Planting in such wide fields as the one you see on screen can be very exhausting. 
Doing it manually is impossible too, so experts solved this by developing the new Tempo L Precision Air Seeder. This is a machine designed to provide high capacity precision planting of small seeded crops. Whether it's oil seed, sugar beet, and other small seeds, this machine plants them flawlessly. The seed hoppers on the machine have the capacity to hold 25 liters and can also be equipped with fertilizer through the 5,000 liter fertilizer hopper, which makes the whole operation easier. Another machine built for planting is the Seed Hawk from Vetterstad, and it is specifically made for air seeding. This machine has been designed to combine a seed metering unit with a toolbar for seed and fertilizer placement in one pass. This means that farmers can now accomplish multiple planting tasks in less time. It boasts about its accurate seed and fertilizer placement, which helps the farmers achieve uniform emergence and potentially higher yields. Its openers are also built to work independently by following the contours of the ground. This ensures consistent seed depth control even in uneven terrain. To lift and shut the openers, the machine uses GPS and its very own ICON wireless control, which also helps eliminate seed overlapping. If traditional pull-type balers aren't your thing, the ZR5 self-propelled baler will definitely be a delight to you. This machine functions through its own engine and wheels to create large round bales of hay, forage crops, or even corn stalks. Since the baling process is now partially automated, the manual work of the operator is now reduced. Its self-propelled design, zero-turn capability, and automation features all contribute to faster baling operations too. Plus, this machine can reach speeds of up to 12 miles per hour in the field and over 30 miles per hour in transport mode. Speaking of automation, what better example is there to give than the Case IH Magnum Autonomous Concept Vehicle, also known as the Magnum ACV. The manufacturers of this machine worked hard to make a driverless tractor design possible. This machine no longer needs any operator because it uses sensors, cameras, and GPS technology to move along fields and complete tasks like tillage, planting, and spraying. It also needs pre-programmed routes and field boundaries, so its obstacle detecting feature works smoothly too. For more control, farmers may still see how this machine performs remotely via a desktop computer or tablet interface. This allows for supervision of multiple ACVs working simultaneously and the ability to intervene if needed. Let's look at another autonomous machine from NIO Technologies. This is their mechanical finger weeder program to be one of the best when it comes to inner row weeding. Even without an operator, this robot can remove weeds between cultivated rows without damaging the crops. They are programmed to uproot the weeds and disturb the soil around them so weeds do not grow again. It's all thanks to the machine's other weeding functionalities like hose, in commercial peanut farming operations where speed is one of the top priorities, the Avanti C360 Peanut Combine Harvester is surely a good addition. This machine is designed with a mechanism that gently yet efficiently lifts the peanuts from the ground. The harvest then gets processed inside the machine where the actual peanuts are separated from the vines and leaves. Even when it is working with soil, the C360's cleaning system helps ensure a cleaner peanut product with minimal dirt and debris, potentially fetching a higher market price. Next up, this is the new model 2340 Hay Harvester, also known as the Oxbow 2340. 
This machine is known for its capacity to merge windrows from three mower swaths into a single and larger windrow. It is very helpful for operators and farmers because this reduces the number of windrows requiring subsequent gathering and handling by balers or forage harvesters, hence reducing field work. Since it has a working width that reaches up to 40 feet, it can ensure an efficient handling or large volumes of hay without needing to go through multiple runs. It is also built with the hydraulic float system that allows the machine to adapt to the ground contours. As a result, there is a consistent windrow formation even in uneven terrain. On top of that, it is also user-friendly and easy to operate. Moving forward, let us take a look at the Commander 1 or one of the leaders in the field of cabbage harvesting. This self-propelled machine was designed with the gentle handling of cabbages in mind, and this is evident in how it handles the crops. First, it carefully lifts the cabbage from the ground. Then, it positions them to give it a precise and clean cut of the roots. It was intentionally designed as such to minimize bruising and damage to cabbages during harvesting. The Pronto 12SW catches the eyes of many even with just its folding design. This disc seed drill unfolds itself from a 3-meter machine to a much wider one in preparation for the large-scale seeding operation it is about to do. Depending on the model, this machine has a capacity that ranges from 12,000 liters to 17,000 liters. This works together with its double hopper design that allows separation of seeds and fertilizer within the same hopper. It is a smart solution for the simultaneous placement of seeds and fertilizer during the seeding process. Operators do not need to worry about placement either, since it has the turbo disc seed coulters for precise seed placement at a consistent depth. Are you ready to get to know one of the largest mowers? This is the FC 134 60RA from the company Kuhn, and it is known to be a giant mower made specifically for agriculture. With a working width of 12.4 to 13.4 meters, it can surely provide high efficiency mowing of large fields in a single pass. Aside from that, this mower can also do a lot of things at once. It can mow, condition, and help in swath formation in just one operation. Power and productivity are not a problem for the Fent Ideal 9T. With its strong engine that provides up to 650 horsepower, this combine harvester is capable of tackling large-scale grain harvesting operations. This machine also takes pride in its dual rotor threshing system with a total concave area of 1.66 square meters because it helps in the effective separation of grain from straw. Just by looking at it, you can definitely tell that the structure of this machine is different from the rest. This is the QRX 14 valve type wheel rakes used to efficiently gather the cut hay into windrows for baling or chopping. Thanks to its 14 wheels positioned in a V-shaped formation, it can gently rake and gather the hay in multiple rows over a short span of time. If specific conditions apply, the operator can adjust the working width of the rake from the tractor seat using a hydraulic system. In return, this optimizes the windrow size based on the site or operation requirements. After harvesting, farmers expect to face a large pile of these sugar beets. To help them deal with that, they employ the Mouse 6 or the High Performance Sugar Beet Loader manufactured by Ropa. It can easily guide the sugar beets to the respective vehicles without needing a lot of manual labor. On top of that, it is also built with sprays and different features that help in cleaning and sorting the harvest before transport. Even when working in limited spaces, the Mouse 6 is still helpful thanks to its compact road width of 3 meters. The Mouse 6 can also work at night too.
Now let us go back to talking about rakes. This is the Krone Swadro TS970 and it is a high capacity rotary rake designed for large scale hay harvesting operations. It is very effective at gathering chopped hay into wide windrows for baling or chopping later on. The wide operating width of the Krone TS970, which is almost 20 meters, is its most remarkable characteristic. As a result, it is far more efficient than smaller rakes at raking a big area of hay in a single pass. For raking, the TS970 has a special three-rotor arrangement. The staggered diagonal arrangement of the rotors ensures efficient hay collecting from a large region. Additionally, this design reduces the possibility of uneven windrow creation or hay streaking. The mounted rotary tetters of the Krone KW Rotary Tetter Series are intended to turn and fluff cut hay in the field in order to facilitate a quicker and more even drying process. The hay crop is lifted by this machine's revolving arms with tines, which then fluff it up and return it to the ground in an open, airy layer. Better air circulation throughout the hay is made possible by this technique which speeds up moisture evaporation and shortens the drying period. Using cameras and sensors, the Tamra 5B sorts peas, eliminating harmful weeds, twigs, and even rocks. Additionally, it eliminates malformed or discolored peas, leaving only a safe and clean product. This machine is best at recovering excellent peas, enhancing productivity, minimizing waste and lowering processing costs, all while improving food safety. To preserve the pea quality, the sorting is done gently. There's an autonomous cotton harvester that is taking over fields all over the world. It is the Dolby HAC 5000. Its five meter wide stripper platform minimizes damage by carefully removing cotton bowls. After being whisked by a pneumatic system, the cotton is mechanically converted into small 400 to 500 kilogram bales that are wrapped for convenient storage and transportation in a roto packaging chamber. With the help of a robust 250 horsepower engine, the HAC 5000 can collect up to 20 bales per hour with no effort. With its small design, the John Deere R700i trailed sprayer delivers a high-end performance. Despite being small, this mid-ranger has features found in larger sprayers. With this dual circuit configuration, operators can spray precisely and more quickly. It has a fill duration of only seven minutes. Although spraying at boom ends is stopped by an automatic valve to prevent waste, Individual nozzle control guarantees even application. Not only does the R700i emphasize accuracy, but also user friendliness. The comfortable cabin with simple controls keeps personnel pleased during extended spraying projects, and the two circuits make operation and cleaning a snap. The Grimmy SE7520 tackles potato harvest on small and medium farms with ease. This single row harvester packs a two-ton bunker, perfect for manageable potato loads. Even with its size, it efficiently removes rocks and debris, keeping the overall harvest clean. On top of that, the machine's offset design and user-friendly controls make maneuvering and operating the SE7520 a breeze. It is a potato harvester programmed and designed to minimize potato bruising and blemishes, 
and ensure high quality harvest at all times. A strong and adaptable piece of farming machinery, the Valentini cultivator is used to till and get soil ready for sowing. There are multiple configurations available, including options for trailing or three-point hitch, as well as fixed or hydraulic shanks. In addition, because they are made for deep tillage operations, operators can better drain the soil, break up hardpan, and incorporate crop residue. Its wide operating width reaches up to 5.5 meters. The Loftness 10-foot system grain bag unloader is an innovation made to effectively remove grain from storage bags with a 10-foot diameter. The Loftness unloads grain bags like a champ. You can save time during harvest with its 7-minute turnaround time for 1,000 bushel trailers. Rugged and long-lasting, this machine is simple to use and assemble. Need to handle 9-foot bags? You can also do it with optional attachments. To further reduce waste and streamline the bag handling process, unloaded bags can be wound neatly for storage and transportation using a grain bag baler attachment. Up next, this is the Agbot robotic sprayer tractor and it is known to be a pioneering machine in the world of autonomous agriculture. With the use of sophisticated sensors, cameras, and GPS, this robotic tractor can traverse fields without the assistance of a human driver. In order to maximize application and reduce waste, these sprayers frequently include technology like wind control, variable rate application, and chlorophyll sensors. The Agbot is excellent at spraying jobs in vineyards and orchards, but it can also be used for other chores, like weed management or mulching, if the right tools are attached. The Agbot is especially well suited for high precision spraying jobs in the production of specialized crops. Now let us take a look at this machine from Damcon. The HWD355 works through the help of its hoeing frame equipped with horizontal hose. Thanks to how shallow its hose are adjusted, the weeds are easily cut at its root neck. Depending on the specific model, this machine has a wide range of working width and it can still be expanded with a finger weeder or torsion weeders. When it comes to harvesting carrots in wet, muddy, or uneven conditions, the Tract ASA Lift Harvester T250BC provides unparalleled performance in challenging areas. This machine, which is resistant to tough conditions, also has a share lifting system that uses angled blades to gently raise carrots out of the ground without causing damage to the farmer's valuable crop. After being raised, vegetables travel via conveyor belts to a sorting and washing apparatus. There is no doubt that the ASA Lift T250 harvesters are known for their efficient operation, keeping the harvest on track. Fasten your seatbelt. Tractors like the JCB Fast Track 8330 are not like the others. With top speeds of 70 kilometers per hour, it is the fastest production tractor in the world. But speed is not the only factor. 
Its powerful 348 horsepower engine guarantees that it can easily handle challenging jobs. Additionally, the JCB FastTrack 8330 has an all-wheel suspension system for superb handling and stability at high speeds, which also keeps drivers comfortable and allows for precise control. Next up, this is the BH100 Green Bean Harvester and it is best at gentle harvesting of fresh market green beans. With its size and ability to harvest a single row of beans at a time, this machine is best for small and medium-sized farms looking for efficient ways to harvest their crops. Even when it is working significantly faster than manual and traditional harvesting, this machine still prioritizes gentle handling of beans to maintain their quality and visual appeal. This machine is equipped with a special picking reel that gently combs the beans from the vines as well as a soft rubber belt. Both features minimize any damage or bruising caused to the beans. Harvesting blueberries has never been easier thanks to the Harvey 500 Mechanical Blueberry Shaking Machine, which automates the procedure and enhances fruit quality and efficiency. Because blueberries are fragile and easily bruised, it delicately removes ripe blueberries from the plants by shaking its heads. This minimizes damage and preserves the freshness of the fruit. The Harvey 500 Harvester has less ground loss than certain mechanical harvesters or traditional harvesting which means less berries are crushed or left behind on the ground. This translates to higher yields and less wasted fruit. In addition, the harvester entirely encloses the plants with a patented brush system while shaking loose berries. This promotes general hygiene and clean produce by reducing contact with dirt and debris. Moving forward, this is the Stemlex equipment specifically designed to process broccoli after harvest. Generally, it is a combination machine that uses different techniques and mechanisms to cut the stem out of the broccoli. It also helps in weighing and grading the vegetables before they are processed even further. Indeed, this is an equipment essential in broccoli processing. Last but not the least, this is a carrot harvester from Kubota. The company is known to be developers of amazing agri-technology, and this machine is one of those. Thanks to its incredible features and capacities, this reduces the overall reliance on manual labor while increasing the farm's efficiency and productivity during harvest. This has been Mighty Machines, and we hope you learned a thing or two. Before you leave, please don't forget to show this video some love by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we have new uploads.